Google Cloud Storage is a highly distributed storage. You can retrieve documents, images, or any file of your choice at any point of time from anywhere in the world. But sometimes, instead of using the browser-based interface to access the files, you may require a programmatic access to the storage. Now, in this case, you have multiple options. Either you can go ahead and start using the Google Cloud SDK and integrate with the application with the programming language of your choice or the second option that we are going to explore in this video. So let's go ahead and we will log in into the Google Cloud Console. So I'll type console.cloud.google.com. This will show our Google Console dashboard and we are going to spin our VM. So I'll just go to Compute Engine and from that I will select the VM Instances option. Let me create a new VM. Let's change the name of this VM and we'll keep it as GCS map and the image that we are going to use is Ubuntu. So I'll just click this change button. I'll select the operating system as Ubuntu. I will leave the version as or rather I'll select the version as 18.0.4 and click select button. Finally, we are going to click the create button. We don't need to change the firewall settings because we are not going to access any HTTP URL. We are just going to spin this VM. So while this VM is getting created, let me show you the Google Cloud Storage that I have created. So I'll just scroll to the storage section and inside that we have another sub option at storage. Just click the browser button. This will open up the Google Cloud Storage browser. You will see that I created a bucket name as Carbon Rider. If I just click this bucket, we will see the folders and files inside that. So we have one folder named as images. So inside this images folder, we have two PNG files stored. We are going to map this images folder with RVM. Let me just go back to RVM instance and check whether it is available or not. So I'll just click this VM instances option again. Now that our VM instance is ready, let's go ahead and try to SSH into this VM. So I'll click this SSH option and then I'll click open in browser window. All right, so we are inside our VM and we are able to see the prompt. Now in order to map the Google Cloud Storage as a mount point for our VM, we need to install a software called as GCS Fuse. This particular software is available from the Google Cloud Platform. I'll provide the link in the video description. So if you'll just scroll down, you will see a section on installing. Just click that link. This should give us an instruction about each operating system. In our case, since we are using Ubuntu, we're going to follow the steps for the Ubuntu operating system. So I'll just copy this command and I will paste it into the console that we have. Let me press enter. I will copy the second command. I will paste it again. Press enter. Now the final step. We need to call this particular curl command which will install the repository for the GCS fuse. Looks good. Now we need to fire the update command for the apt. So sudo apt update press enter this should update our app repository this will take a little bit time all right so apt update has completed now we need to fire the next command that is the installation of gcs fuse so i'll just type sudo apt install gcs fuse looks good we are done with the installation of gcs fuse and the final step is actually optional. It is required only for an older version of Ubuntu. And in our case, we can just ignore that. Let's go back to the SSH console. Let me just clear the console so that we can see the commands pretty much clearly. Okay. So I just clear the console. Let me press enter. So let's go ahead and first create a folder. I'm going to name this folder as storage. And this folder is getting created inside our home folder. So let me just press ls and you will see that the folder name is getting displayed. So GCS Fuse is actually a command line utility in order to map our 
bucket with this particular folder i'm going to type gcs fuse followed by the name of our bucket so it is carbon rider then we need to specify the path of the folder to which we want to mount this particular bucket so in our case it is tilde sign followed by the name of the folder and in our case it is storage and as i said we are going to map a folder from a bucket so we need to specify that name as well and for that we have a special argument called as only hyphen dr specify the name of our folder in our case it is images and just press enter so congratulations you are able to map a folder from the google cloud storage to rvm so if i'll just get inside the storage folder and if i'll press ls you'll see that our two files are getting listed now with this approach you get two benefits instead of using google cloud sdk to access the google cloud storage bucket inside your application you can very well use the native apis of your language for example in case of java you can use java.io.file in order to access files from your storage the second benefit which is the most important since you are using the native apis of your language and you are not bound to any specific sdk as such it becomes very easy to port your application from one cloud vendor to another cloud vendor for example in this case since you are using google cloud platform you can very well take this particular project from the google cloud to the aws so that's all for today's video we'll just wrap it up over here and i will see you soon in the next one till then take care and build something